Hello beautiful people and welcome back to a fantastic episode in which we're gonna do a hero tier list. Yes, you heard me right. But we're gonna classify only the battle heroes, which are the best heroes in top war right now. And as you know, in top war we have over 100 gold heroes right now, which is absolutely crazy. And of course we have battle heroes, growth heroes... And even the battle heroes are to be classified in offense buffing heroes, then we have support heroes, then we have also heroes with defense capabilities. Therefore, this episode we're definitely going to dedicate it exclusively only for the battle heroes. And we will not going to take all these heroes in the list. Otherwise, this video is going to be extremely long and absolutely not efficient. But instead of that, we're actually going to take... The hero list, which you see it in the hero trial, there is a reason why River Game has only these heroes in the list. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this episode. Just classify the heroes which you are seeing now in the hero trials. Because, yes indeed, they are the most important heroes in top war from the battle perspective. But they are not all great. So let's do that. So here we go, beautiful people. Here are the 30 heroes which we're gonna classify today in this episode. So first of all, what's super important, on the left side of the screen, you are seeing the categories which I have chosen for this hero ranks. And honestly speaking, I'm gonna leave the S tier open because this is also River Games business model to bring a hero every single month. And when we are evaluating a hero, we are not just evaluating a hero from its own design, but also how that applies in a march and how that hero actually amplifies the march performance. So let's go from the beginning. So let's start with, for example, Jester. So I'm definitely going to put Jester at best. Now, this is an offense buffing hero exclusively for Navy right now, and it's definitely in the meta. Therefore, we're going to put her there. Second hero which we have in here is actually Meowzilla. Now, from the meta perspective, and again, this is a hero exclusively for Navy, is also to be put at this tier, which is best because it's part of the new Navy meta. Good. Let's actually wrap up the Navy meta. Because till now, we actually needed heroes with indestructible buff. But if you are re a regular viewer of my channel, you saw when we done the test with Lilia... Just the Meowzilla, that's definitely the meta of the Navy right now. There is no question about it. Good. So let's carry on with the Navy, actually, and take Zen. And this is a very solid hero, but it has some disadvantages. First of all, of course, this is a collaboration hero. And especially for the younger players, you no longer have the possibility to get this hero. But if you have him, it's an absolutely solid hero. Let's carry on with Lila, for example. This is also a great hero. We can put it here at the solid tier, especially because Zen will gonna need her, but we can also actually put her here, use it till we get a better hero. But I'm gonna stick with Lila being in the solid tier, especially because of the way it works with Mr. Zen. Let's take the next hero, which is gonna be Mr. Cranston. Now I'm gonna put Cranston between Lila and Zen. Because Zen is definitely slightly better than Crimson from the level 5 perspective. We want to keep this ranking from the level 5 perspective because this is super realistic for the vast majority of the players. And again, this hero has also a massive disadvantage. Being a collaboration hero, if you don't have him unlock, you no longer have the opportunity. So if you have him, you can use him. Let's carry on with the next hero in this list. And I think I'm going to take Mr. Duke. And I'm going to put Duke also on the solid rank not the best one now of course it's a hero with indestructible buff super needed from the navy perspective you don't necessarily need that anymore and from the perspective of the tanks and the planes we actually have slightly better alternatives let's carry on with stromoy now this was once upon a time a great hero now jester is definitely far stronger than stromoy so from this perspective i would say we can put stromoy in here just in case you have her you can use her as an offense buffing hero till you get Jester, by the way. But if you do not have Stromoy, then you definitely have to consider Stromoy to be here. Avoid unlocking this hero. You don't need her. But let's keep her there because we want this tier list to be from both perspectives, 
for the newer players, but also for the older players. Okay, let's carry on with one of my favorite in codes uh, heroes, which definitely gonna end up in here. That's Maplin. Now, Maplin is kind of like Meowzilla. Meowzilla is far better, and what made Meowzilla even better is actually Lilia. So from this perspective, this hero, yes, indeed, could get better, but that's not possible without a hero which gonna help her even more, just in the way Lilia is helping Meowzilla. But even from that perspective, comparing Meowzilla to Maplin, I cannot justify the existence of Maplin. The next hero I would like to classify is actually Asuka. It's a great hero. I'm going to put it on the solid tier. It's an universal hero, works pretty much everywhere. But again, Asuka right now is not absolutely the best for the tanks or for the planes or for the navy. It's solid, but not the best. So I think pretty much right now we are done with the navy. Let's jump to the tanks and let's take an easy one, which is Mr. Pollock. It was once upon a time a great hero. This is a support hero. But definitely if you have him it's worth to upgrade to something better and we're going to get to that in a second and if you don't have them you don't need this hero anymore so simply avoid him let's take as next one mr gypsy which is a great hero used to be absolutely the best offense buffing hero but sadly that's no longer the case and on top he has a disadvantage of being a hero tied to a collaboration event and especially for the younger players if you don't have him unlocked you no longer have the possibility to guess this hero so therefore i'm just going to put it there at the solid tier let's take actually mr paul and you know what i'm going to put mr paul in front of mr gypsy because mr paul is slightly better than gypsy shares the same disadvantage of being a collaboration hero kung fu panda and by the way if you didn't have the opportunity to unlock him, you no longer will have the opportunity to, to unlock him. It's a solid hero, but my opinion is it's no longer in the top tier or among the best heroes in top war. Let's take Mr. Snake Eyes. Now, Mr. Snake Eyes is basically a Pollock 2.0. It's a great hero and he definitely doesn't qualify to be put in this category here to avoid this hero. But I would say it definitely fits in here. Use him till you get a better hero and of course he's gonna need a hero with indestructible buff and an offense buffing hero which you can use uh, Poe, you can use uh, Gypsy for that and it's fine. Good, up next I'm gonna take Mr. Striker. Mr. Striker again is a hero from the Pacific Rim. Used to be absolutely super great but nowadays that's no longer the case. So you know what, I'm just gonna move Striker somewhere between Duke and Asuka because from the level five perspective, we already have better alternatives to Striker and not to mention again, the same disadvantage. This hero is a collaboration hero. Therefore, if you don't have it till now, you no longer have the possibility to obtain him. Let's take Mr. Chinji, which is again also a great hero with indestructible buff, super solid, again shares the same disadvantage of being a hero tied to a collaboration event, again the same thing, if you don't have until now, you no longer have the possibility to use him, and even if you have him, it's actually worth to replace him from the level 5 perspective, because we have better alternatives, and we're gonna get to that. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, we have Brunhild, which is... A good hero, not gonna say it's super bad. It's definitely somewhere on par with Mr. Pollock, but with other two heroes, definitely works super nice. I would say if you have her, you can use her, but definitely taking consideration, you're gonna replace her. And if you do not have Brun here right now, it's absolutely super safe to avoid this hero. So you know what? I'm just gonna keep her on the lowest rank there. Good. Now let's have a look at Neely, which is an offense buffing hero, just like Mr. Poe, just like Mr. Gypsy. Okay, don't switch position, people. Put him back on. But she is actually more than solid. You know what? Because she is part of the tank meta right now. Therefore, it's absolutely super safe to put Neely on the best rank tier. Next hero, which one should we take? Let's take Marvi, which is again a hero with the indestructible buff. Now here, this hero also has its disadvantages because it only works for the tanks, but it also has a solid performance and an even bigger advantage because this hero is not tied to any collaboration event. You're always gonna get the opportunity actually to unlock her and she works absolutely fantastic in the tank meta and therefore, as of right now, Marvi definitely deserves to be on the best tier rank next in light we're gonna take mr quilly and mr quilly is a support hero just like 
snake eyes you see here. Just like Brunhilde, just like Pollock, for example, but he is right now actually part of the meta. And what you're seeing now on the best rank, you see the first navy meta, and then right after that, that's literally the tank meta, dear beautiful people, right now. Good, so from this perspective, we are pretty much done with the tanks right now. And let's start with the planes. And you know what? We can take Lin directly, which is the newest hero we have right now. And the hero per Z is not that bad honestly speaking but i haven't found the proper march combination with her in order to come even closer to the air force meta therefore from this perspective i wouldn't say avoid this hero what i would say definitely unlock this hero. probably riva game has a plan in mind and bring a kai 2.0 so from this perspective i would say i'm gonna put it here and use it till you have a better hero but i would not prioritize this hero till we see heroes which can help her amplify the plane's march performance so let's keep her there the next hero which we have in here is mr tigress now this has an advantage and this also has a disadvantage again i would actually put tigress at the solid tier for a couple of reasons the first reason is because again it's a hero tied to a collaboration event. In other words, you haven't unlocked Tigress till now. You no longer have the opportunity to do that. But it's a great offense buffing hero for the planes. No question about that. But I would say it deserves to be on the solid tier. Good. The next hero online, we have Mr. Storm Shadow, which is a hero exclusively for the Air Force and a hero with the indestructible buff. And not just that, he is actually right now part of the Air Force meta. Absolutely a fantastic hero. Therefore, he deserves to be on the best tier the next hero which we are going to take is mr abad and mr abad is a support hero exclusively for the air force and yes he is more than solid he is actually right now part of the air force meta so let's put him exactly where he belongs good next year online we have mr kai which is definitely working pretty good with lin or mr cranston but that's not enough to bring your performance close to the air force meta which you're gonna see it in a second therefore from this perspective 100 i'm sure about this you should avoid this hero next year online we have mr cranston which is an offense buffing hero and has a actually great synergy together with kai together with storm shadow together with mr duke but as of right now we have tigress which is extremely solid we still have to rank mr brady by the way and since this regular attack type of air force match doesn't come that close to the ignition setup of the planes i will definitely gonna put this hero exactly right here into the rank of heroes you should definitely avoid let's go to mr brady now mr brady is almost as good as tigress it's a small difference between them from the level 5 perspective i would say brady is slightly better than tigress it doesn't make tigress bad from the level 7 perspective of course tigress is going to be better than brady and he has an advantage of not being a hero tied to a collaboration event but it also has a small disadvantage this hero it's pretty old right now so theoretically speaking brady can fit into the solid tier but it can also actually fit into the best tier. So let's keep it in there and keep the remarks in mind. Good, last two heroes, both are for Air Force. We have uh, Barbie. Again, a super solid hero, no question about it. A hero which is definitely super free-to-play friendly, doesn't need necessarily the exclusive uh, five-level skill, but honestly speaking, is gonna be a hero which you're definitely gonna replace. So if you are a younger player, do exactly this avoid this hero if you actually have barbie sure use it right now but you definitely have to take in consideration that you're gonna have to replace her in the future so the last hero which we have on this list is actually hazel it's an offense buffing hero for the air force a great hero there's no question about it but this is a hero of the old age if you allow me to say it like this why am i saying this because she's older than brady and when brady came out already brady with level five was stronger than Hazel with level 7. So from this perspective, Hazel is a great hero. If you are starting right now to build your Air Force match, this is definitely a hero which you're definitely going to have to avoid. And if you have her right now, sure, why not? And you don't have anything better as an offense buffing hero, sure, you can use her, but take in consideration that you're going to definitely have to replace her at one point. 
So anyways, beautiful people, this is the tier list for the battle heroes right now in top war. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments your thought about this idea and of course about the ranking too. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to support what supports you back and the best way to do so is to watch my videos. Subscribe to this channel, share the channel with your friends and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.